Hey guys, Tina here, The Critical Virgo. So today I got my Ipsy bag. I actually opened it up and I'm wearing everything that's in here right now. And I just wanted to share my first impressions with you and just go over what I got, because that's always fun, right? Um, sorry if I'm sniffling, I'm getting over a cold, so just bear with me. I got this, um, it's like a lip moisturizer. It's by Rimmel London. It's by Kate. Looks like that. Has a light smell to it. It's nothing crazy and it feels really good on your lips. It's not too heavy, not too sticky or waxy. So I do really enjoy that. I'm gonna put it in my purse. I love stuff like that. And then I got this mica powder and it is in the color Desert Sunset and it's by Naked Cosmetics. I'm wearing it right now. I don't know if it's actually gonna pick up. It's really pretty and just fun. I'm going to have a lot of fun playing with this. It's a little messy, so I'm going to try to be neat about this and show you guys what it looks like. But yeah, that's the one bad thing about like powders. They can be very messy. And I got a direct light coming at me, so you should get a really good view of this. I'll do a quick little swatch for you. Just so you can see. So that's it on my finger. Again, a very, very pigmented. And I'm sorry about my nails. I gotta do them, I know. Look at that. It's crazy. So a little bit goes a very, very long way. The only like thing that I don't like about these mica pigments is that like it gets all around the jar. So these things get really messy very quick. But they are great as far as, as, far as color goes, so. I don't know. I guess you can't have it all, right? Let me wipe this off. Give me one second. Use an old dish rag because I want to swatch a few other things for you too. So mm, I got this Bahama Mama bronzer powder. It's very small. It's cute though. Just very, very small. And it opens up. I like this. And I'll try to swatch it for you. It's a real cool tone. Um, a little bit goes a long way. It's not really going to pick up on my skin, I don't think. Oh yeah, well. But it's really cool. There's not a whole lot of shimmer in it and I like it a lot. I'm actually wearing it right now. I used it for mm, like a very light color in place of contour. I don't know how it's going to pick up on the camera, but in my mirror it looked great. Um, I also got uh, Mana Carter Beauty. It's a blush in the color Paradise. And it looks like this. It's very pigmented. It feels great actually. And there you go. So it is another one where a little bit goes a long way. It's got a lot of shimmer in it. I'm wearing it right now very lightly. I don't like um, a whole lot of blush, but again, I don't know how this will pick up on the camera until I edit this. So I like it right now. If I change my mind, I will reshoot this and let you guys know. The last thing I got, and I wish I got this like earlier in the month because I do a lot of filing. I'm a paralegal and um, my nails get beaten up. My nail polish never lasts. So this would have been really helpful when I did my nails over the weekend. It's the Ciate London Gelology Top Coat. And I'll show you it in the box first because it's a very metallic bottle, so I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of glare off of my light. Yeah, and you're not gonna be able to see the words, but it is, it's very nice on there. And like I said, my nails get torn up. They're chipping and everything. And I've, I did my nails Saturday, Friday night, Saturday. So this would have been very helpful. I'm sure it's a lot stronger than my current cut top coat. Um, it's like, let's just put a little bit on. Yeah, it's just like a regular clear coat. It doesn't look like anything 
crazy special. I'll try it out for a month and then I'll write a full review on my blog, on my website. I will be doing a full write-up on last month's bag and my impressions about it now that I've got, had a chance to use it for a full month. So go check that out, www.thecriticalvirgo.com. Um, I'll be doing the same for this stuff as well. I'll write full reviews a month after. So don't forget to go check that out, bookmark it, save it, and don't forget to like and subscribe so you get notified every single time that I upload one of these Ipsy bags. I'll be doing them every single month. I really enjoy it. I love this stuff. Um, to be honest with you, I think 10 bucks, you can't beat it. You're getting a ton of product that if you bought individually would cost you more than $10. I think like this alone, what is it like 10 or $13? I don't know, but the price is below. But it's a really awesome deal. I will put a link down below where you can actually sign up and get your own bag too. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions for future videos, please put those down below. Again, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Till next month.